Okay, so this is not prospecting related, but I figured I'd do a quick video. I made two batches with Baker's yeast, and um, this one, the first one, I don't think you can really see the fermentation because it slowed down a lot, but I'll try to put it really close to so see if you can see it. Watch it. I don't think you're going to be able to see that one because it's so... Well, that one's going to be done the 21st. And then this one, I can get you there. Hopefully, you can see it. I'm sorry about the uh, focusing and all that. Hang on. This one, you can see bubbling. And that one, I started four days after this one. And these are, yep, there we go. Yep, and these are both with baker's yeast, which you can do it with. And the recipe's simple. I've actually got it from Tom's Randomness and watching... I'm doing it cheap with paw paw. Now we're gonna walk, and I'm gonna show you the one I started yesterday. Hang on, this thing is like not zooming in. Sorry about the mess, that's what happens when you have a child, as you can see. Right, baby? It's watching TV. But I have it over here, which is locked up, she can't get to it. I'm gonna open it up. And this one was done the same way, the only difference was I used um, wine yeast, which I bought on Amazon and got a good deal for like 10 packs. This one you'll see is a lot more, um, let me see. Well, this one just, I just started and it's starting to ferment. You can see all the bubbles. See, it's getting pretty good. The suds. But the recipe is very easy. Okay, so it calls for 100% juice of any, any kind. It can be um, apple, cranberry, grape, white grape, peach, anything. Anything you can find that's 100% grape juice. And it can't have any preservatives. I heard if it does, you can boil it out, but you're better off just getting something with no preservatives. You need sugar. And based on this recipe, you're gonna use, you're gonna get the, the bottle, you're gonna pour out about a cup's worth, and then you're going to put in a cup and a half of sugar. And I personally put in a, a teaspoon of yeast for that. So you're gonna sh you want to shake the the, um, the juice up with all the sugar so it all um, basically what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, what? Mixes. Sure, yeah, it mixes. Blends. It mixes so there's no sugar sitting at the bottom. Yeah. And then you shake it up, open it up, pour in your yeast, and then you just want to put the cap on, but. Very loosely, like if you squeeze the bottle, you'll see the cap jumping up and down. That way, the the air, the the gases can escape. Or you can get an airlock. It's up to you. I haven't done an airlock. I haven't bought one. But that's pretty much it. And the next video I do will be a Peter uh, video. It'll probably either be the Mile High Prospectors I got from eBay, or it'll be the I think it's Huatrons. I don't know how to pronounce it. I bought two bags. The five pound bag came and it destroyed. It was like in the bag. The bag tore. It was five pounds. And the next one I have is only two pounds and it has a half gram guarantee, but that's it. Um, thank you for watching this random video. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to, to put something out. All right, thanks. And uh, again, um, if you want to, you can check out Tom's randomness. He simplifies it, you know, just as easy. And he shows you step by step how to do it. And, or you can watch Doing It Cheap, or watch it both. Doing It Cheap with Papa or Pua Pua, as he says it, from Tennessee. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks.